we're on this Honda Pilot. Uh, I forgot the year. The year is 2012. And we have 650 grams, 134 refrigerants. And let me get that down to 134. There we go, 134. Now I have all the doors and windows open. I have it on fresh air. I'm taking this nice hot air from the coolant, the engine going over, heating it up because it's a cool day. It's only like 74 degrees outside or so. And actually, what is the temperature? Let's see, there's a black, black material. It's been sitting here all day. It's 71 degrees, 72, 72, 73, 74. Oh, I went up. 71, 71 degrees. So we're 71 degrees. Let's look at the temperature of the hot vapor gas coming out of the compressor going to the inlet of the condenser right there. And we have our hottest temperature at 149 degrees. Let's round it off to 150. You see where it says max temperature 150 right out the inlet there? That's a silver body. Silver bodies are, if you could paint that with flat black paint and have the emisticity to set the flat back black, that would be best. Now, let me see if I could get under here. And uh, there we go, the hottest 106, 150. Let's just round it up to almost 10, well, five, what do you want to do? Um, 107. One fifty. So if we put ten down there, of about a 40, 40 some degree temperature difference between inlet and outlet, and we like to say fifty is your max. And this is a brand new condenser. It's an aftermarket condenser, but it's a brand new condenser. There's the original Denso right there. It's really nice when you're taking temperatures right off of flat black if you're using this. But don't rely on, and I made many videos why not to rely on photo or thermal or imagers and infrared. Uh, let's get the temperature. You can see the temperature right here. I'm clamped on 106. Remember this said somewhere around 106, 107 right down there. So it's within one degree. Both of these on the liquid line with my clamp. See my clamp right here? Let's get my clamp off the liquid line. There's my liquid line. Let's get it off there and let's put it on. So we're 106 on the liquid line and let's go right there. Now we're on the vapor line going in. Let's see what that temperature comes up to. Does it hit 149? Because remember, I think this thing said 149 on this. Almost. That was 106, oh, 146. There we go. So we got a, a 40 degree difference in temperature drop over that. And I'm willing to bet you, if I put, there's nothing wrong with this condenser, it's just bowed. See that little dink right there? That little bend right there? That's all. Uh, I would, you wouldn't want it. I mean, it's already broke the black uh, coating on there. But if I put this condenser back on this car, take this aftermarket one off and I put this off, Instead of a 40 degree drop, I would probably see a 30 degree drop. This is a more efficient condenser. Um, what else did I wanna tell you? Um, oh, sight glass. For you guys who still make hoses and lines, on your liquid line, you install a sight glass with a moisture indicator. Let's see if I can get this one fingered off there. One hand, come on, there you go. So this is a moisture indicator and it's yellow because it's saturated with moisture in the parts per million. You put this in the liquid line of anything going back to the expansion valve. Not only do you get a huge sight glass. Oh, these come threaded too. These are brazon. So if you have one of those uh, universal welding materials that can do like copper to aluminum or you make up your own copper lines, you can braze one in or you could get the threaded one in and you put threaded on fittings on the lines you make up or your hoses you make up and you put one of these and mount them somewhere in the liquid line out of the condenser. And you will be able to physically see visually with your eyes when the system is contaminated with moisture. 
And uh, especially if it's nice and green when it goes in, if you're a customer and you had one of these or if you're a shop and uh, say it goes out nice and yellow and the customer says, well, I had uh, so-and-so down the block do um, my AC recharge and it turns from green to yellow, you know, so-and-so down the block with his AC machine, just put that back in uh, moisture contaminated refrigerant. And it's every time, you can tell, every time. And this will literally turn, if you put uh, heated um, nitrogen, you blow nitrogen through this thing, within, depending on the amount of saturation and the temperature, you will see the sight glass turn from yellow to green within seconds to minutes depending under the conditions. That's how fast these respond. I had somebody from a certain manufacturer at a certain expo I went to said, oh, they don't respond fast enough and we find problems with them. Well, that's what happens. That's the difference between somebody who listens to somebody else who's not experienced and somebody who knows and is experienced. These literally will change color in seconds or minutes. It all depends on the conditions it's under. So that's the moisture indicator. This is from Sporlin, see all. If you can see right there, let me get real clear. Let's see if I could get it close up. There you go. So this is this is it right here. That's this one right here. They come in different sizes and diameters. You can have these all the way up to an inch and seven eighths, I think, of diameter. That's for commercial stuff. You can get them down to a quarter inch, and you could get them with male and female threads to go inside. That's it for today, guys. I will see you later, and uh, adios.